Okay. Very good. Well done, everyone. Hey. Allow me to apologize. We're not usually so uncouth. The guy who freed us from Mabuchi's chains. You remember me. I'm honored. Hey. Why bother saving us then just to attack us now? I do apologize. The situation's a little complex. What's this guy's deal? I don't like him. Weren't you the one saying he was hot? Just because he's hot doesn't mean I like him. I'm serving in a strategic role for the Komijul. My name is Jungi Han. Jungi Han? You want to tell us why your men attacked us? I simply wanted to see how strong you are. Actually, I ordered them not to kill you, no matter what happened in the fight. <laughs> and yet, I must admit, you still had me worried for a second there. No way, man. We didn't even break a sweat. Look, my hair's still perfect. Does that make me strong enough for you? Yeah, for my men, yes. But for me... <laughs> why, I believe I could take all of you by myself. Say what? I happen to know why you're here, Kasuga. You're in quite the predicament. But there are things you don't yet grasp. If you like, I could explain things in greater detail. How about you spare us greater details and give us the short version? Very well. I'll focus on the part that's crucial for you to understand. Just give me a minute to figure out how to put it. So, even an idiot can comprehend. If you think calling me names is gonna get a rise out of me, think again. I like my life as an idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I like idiots myself. Now, this way, please. Is he gonna take us seriously at some point? <laughs> Just let it go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. It's always the sexy ones who piss you off the most. Yep, that's why I prefer to associate with you guys. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I think you might be the very first non komijul who ever passed through here. You should be grateful, or at least pretend to be. This is the heart of our business interests in Ijincho. Security cameras all over town. Footage shot by undercover Komijul agents. Here, we see everything the cameras see. We have our own generators too. But they're not enough to power such an advanced system. So, that's why... You have to jack innocent people's electricity? <sighs> that's one way of putting it. But you must consider that we are recent arrivals in Ijincho. When we came, the Seriyu and Liumang were already at war over territory. The area we now call Komiju was the only scrap left to us. Still, we've managed to use it to produce a very in-demand commodity. Information, which it turns out is also an excellent weapon. Too good for regular weapons, huh? We are quite small compared to the Seiryu clan and the Liumang. We'd be the first to go down if it came to a real war. So, to survive, we have come to act as the balance between the other two. 
It's a strategy that has served us well, so far. You balance them? How? To give you an example, if a man from the Liumong entered Seiryu clan territory, we'd know it immediately and report it to our Seiryu contacts. And it wouldn't end there. We'd investigate the trespasser and use his friends or family as further leverage. So you see, we extinguish the sparks of war before they become fires. Though we do prefer that sparks don't fly in the first place. So really, this standoff in Yokohama isn't among three equal organizations. It's two big powerful ones, and a little one mediating between them. Exactly right. The Liu Meng and the Seiryu clan should be thanking us. <laughs> but they've never sent so much as a thank you note. What if someone does start a fire on purpose? Would the Komi Jewel do anything about it? It's case by case, but many times that task would fall to us, yes. Sometimes all we have to do is apply a little pressure. But sometimes it calls for a heavier hand. It's all just business, of course. So what about Mabuchi? You managed to put out that spark yet? <laughs> He's still alive, if that's what you're asking. But take a look at the large monitor, if you would. Huh? This was recorded just moments before the death of Otohime Land's owner. You'll see both Lao Ma and his men. Well, hey. This looks like rock-solid proof to me. Hell yeah! This is exactly what we were looking for! I knew it would be. Anyone who watches this, even Zhao, will have to accept that Mabuchi is at fault. Nice! But I can't hand this over to you just yet. There's something else I want you to see. What's that? You'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah. yeah. This doesn't sound shady at all. Yo, can you lighten up, man? It's starting to rub off on me. Have a closer look. It's not going to bite. Fake bills? Wait. These are different from Mabuchi's. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, these fakes are on a whole other level, I assure you. They make Mabuchi's bills look like board game money. Put them side by side, and you'd see how sloppy his work is. These are made with a state-of-the-art printer. It can copy a bill down to each microline. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd turn up again. Happy to see me? I'm happy any time a good-looking woman turns up. It would have been sooner, but I had preparations to make. Yeah, I bet your maker routine's no joke. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Ugh, can you two stop flirting? <sighs> How about you tell us who you are already? I don't think the lady appreciates your tone. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. 
Where does your ego end? Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul, Song Hui. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komijul's boss is a woman? You remember all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes? Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomong import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? W wait. Do you steal the paper from the Liu Meng warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komijul asked the Yokohama Liu Meng to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liu Meng delivers it to us. Who brings it? And who did you arrange all this with? Oh, it all goes through their boss, Zhao. Zhao knows you use the paper? Of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? Is that another part of your business? Or is that the Liu Meng's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. He just got lucky one of his peons had a good idea. Does Xiao know that Mabuchi is making you on? Have you told him? <laughs> I did. But Xiao already knew. He's just pretending that he doesn't. After all, it's not like he can order his men to stop printing you on. They'd ask where the paper was going. Not even Zhao could talk his way out of that. And he's not about to do anything that might risk his very profitable fake yen operation. So he's willing to look the other way when it comes to Mabuchi's fake yuan. It's logical. I'd do the same. But does Mabuchi know the same paper is being used to make yen? No, what he takes to make yuan is breakage. But I'm okay with breakage if it keeps Mabuchi in the dark. The only thing I care about is the paper continues to be customized for Yen. Customized? Yes, legal currency always has a specific recipe. For Yen, the main ingredient is a plant called Mitsumara. But the other ingredients, the mixture ratio, the manufacturing method, those are all state secrets. Which makes it almost impossible to copy. Then how the hell are you pulling it off? We have a contact at the Treasury, who passed these secrets to us decades ago. That long ago? Why haven't the police caught wind of this operation? <laughs> if you're surprised by police incompetence, you're younger than I thought. Oh, well... <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm uh, older than I look. You know she's literally doing that on purpose, don't you? <laughs> the point is... Almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh... Ichiban! Whoa! <sighs> I thought so. This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in this city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. 
That's why we brought you here. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. I know it. You're a lady who does what needs to be done. I'm glad you recognize that. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose makes sense, given the way you look and behave. Ah, uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake bill. He only talked to me because the chief asked him to heal me up, and... But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No, he doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Duh. You knew the fake bill came from Mamba! us! Mamba! Don't move. She's not finished. Mamba? Just... Ugh. You need to start talking. Who are you? You, Namba. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. All right? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? What are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijincho to investigate, but... After just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. <laughs> just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched. By the Komi Jewel. Now you tell me, where is my brother? I get it now. You think you're on some kind of rescue mission, huh? I heard about Ijincho's great wall of muscle. How it protected the town from outsiders. So I pretended I was a local. By disguising yourself as a bum and joining their camp thinking you'd keep tabs on us because we're close to the homeless camp. Yeah. But unfortunately, I never got any leads. Not until you showed up, Ichiban. It was back when I saw that weird bill on you that I knew. I knew right off the bat that it was one of the fakes my brother had been chasing before he disappeared. I finally had a clue. So from that moment on, there was no way I was going to let you out of my sight. I figured you'd eventually tell me how you got it, and I'd get closer to finding my brother. Stupid part is, 
<sighs> Every time you open your mouth, it became more and more obvious you knew less about it than I did. Pretty crazy, right? I had no idea. <laughs> well, I figured out pretty quick you couldn't tell a lie if you wanted to. And since now I'm sure you don't know anything, not much reason for me to hang around. I was just planning to slip away soon anyway. And I wasn't even gonna tell you guys when I did. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Namba. I didn't want it to happen this way. I'm sorry, Ichiban. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Nanchan. You bastards. What did you do to my brother? Did you kill him? At least tell me if he's still alive. Please. You owe me that much. That's all I'm asking. Then you can do whatever you want with me. But let Ichiban and the others go. I'm willing to die. But you know they aren't involved. Spare them. Please. That takes care of our little rat problem. Hopefully, he'll set a good example. The rest of you have the good fortune of being our guests. Hmm. Sounds like Zhao has taken a liking to you. Yo, just a second! Where do you think you're taking him? You can't just take away my friend. Friend? Didn't you hear a word he just said? He's been lying to you because he thought it would get him closer to us. You call that a friend? I can think of a few better words to describe him. Yeah, good point. Friend isn't exactly the right word for Namba anymore. It's different now. So it's sinking in? The thing is... The only reason I say that is because Friend doesn't even begin to describe him. What do you mean? He took care of me when I got dumped here. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have survived the night. I owe my life to Namba, and that's a debt I can never repay him for. That guy back there is more than a friend. The only thing I would call him now is a brother! That's why I can totally understand why Namba went as far as he did to find his brother. Nothing about his reasons for lying to us about his real goal was out of self-interest. He did it for his family. So don't you dare. Don't you dare drag him through the mud and pretend like you're any better! <sighs> You didn't forget I was here. Hey, weren't you the one saying you could stop us all by yourself? Shut up! What are you doing? Get us some backup! Time to call your bluff. I'm taking you out! Let me prove it to you. How have you survived oh, yeah, this I got this. Huh? I am secret. Ooh, You're come out on. of town. Cool. Okay. Good. 
Come on. Let's go. survived this long. Let's go! I'm not backing down. I am oh, yeah? too! Ah! Cool. Check this out! You sure you can beat me? Got something for you. I got Ooh. this. Uh, pain in the ass. Going in. 
Ichiban, get up! There's more of them coming! Come on, you can do it! All right, jeez, I'm up! Now you've done it, Ichiban Kasuga. And here I thought you were just a cute idiot. And here I thought you were just a tough babe. Too bad you're actually a gullible dumbass. Too nosy for his own good. Well, too bad you're actually a wacko psycho chick. <laughs> That's almost charming coming from you. What a shame that you need to die. Uh, backhanded compliments are getting old. Just get the hell out of our way before we beat your sorry ass. Don't let them leave here alive! Take them out! Come on! I got this. You're gonna get I'll show you! Here we go. Go I wouldn't underestimate you. This guy Get them! 
Damn it. Hey, Namba. What? What is it? You feel strong enough to run? Uh, yeah. Can manage. Good. Get out of here while you can. We'll hold them off. No. I'm... No time to argue. Go! What about you guys? We'll figure something out. But if you don't make it, who's gonna find your brother? Aren't you... Aren't you mad at me for not telling you about him? I knew you my life, man. Don't you realize? If you'd been honest from the start, I would have helped you anyhow. And we'd have ended up exactly where we are now. Paul's deep in trouble. So we're cool. Ichiban. Thank you. But I can't just leave you all here. That's okay. I'm balls deep in this too. Me too. I'm balls... Well, I share the sentiment. But, Tachi-san, Sacha, you're all sure about this? Shut up. Get going already. All right. Hey, don't let him get away! No more playing chase. How about actually fighting us, Sankui-san? Or are you scared? Ah, oh, you little... Hey, calm down. Getting mad will give you stress wrinkles. Yeah. Isn't smooth skin a big thing for chicks like you? Enough flirting. Ugh. How about you tell us who you are already? Oh, you bunch of punks! You need to watch your fucking mouths! Seems I've underestimated you, Ichiban Kasuga. <sighs> then, how about we call it a day, if you don't mind? That depends on what he says. Huh? <sighs> Fine. You still want to fight, Jungi Han? Arata, Namban and Ijin chose a pandeshi choba. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Namba managed to slip away. Shit. <laughs> Good job, Namba. Quiet. You don't understand what you've done. Sure I do. We saved our friend from getting murdered. What's it to you? If he leaks the secrets of our operation, we'll lose any control we had, and Ijincho will crumble. Crumble? But don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? And if the fake money dries up, wouldn't that cut down on crime? None of you understand. I'm telling you, the city would grind to a halt. We can't allow that to happen. Does that mean you're not giving up on snaring Namba then? Of course not. Until he scales the Great Wall, he's fair game. The Komi Jewel will use every resource at its disposal to find him. Say you actually find him. Then what? We kill him, obviously. You set on that? <laughs> of course. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this. Doing what? My pals and I will help Namba escape, since you insist on murdering him. I guess we'll just see which side gives up first. This'll be exciting. <sighs> You're not funny. Not trying to be. 
I'm serious. Haven't you figured out what kind of guy I am yet? <sighs> yeah, a pain in the ass. Don't be like that. I know you're head over heels for me. So, can't you just let Namba go? He's not gonna go around spreading your secret. Well, it's not just my secret, so I can't make the decision by myself. But you're the leader of the Komi Jewel. If you just give the word... Kasuga. What? 2 a.m. tonight, Heian Tower in Chinatown. Be there. There's a man I'd like you to meet. Whether Namba lives or dies will be up to him. Who is he? Don't be late. gonna go down at Heian Tower. Your guess is as good as mine, man. What are we going to do until 2 a.m.? Actually, there's something I want to look into while we got the time. What's that? For six months, Nanba pretended to be a bump so he could watch the Komi Jewel. That's what they said, wasn't it? Yeah. Song Hui mentioned it. He must have had a lot of stuff at the homeless camp to live there so long. It's probably still there. I want to check, at least. There might be a clue that would tell us where he'd go if he had to hide, you know? Well, not a bad idea, but... Can't take Psycho to a smelly hobo camp. Dude, I'm going too. Don't even think about pulling that card. Should I open it? Got it!
Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's up, Sachan? Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh, yeah. Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him. They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying, but you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did you girls hear? Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. How much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway, Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoa has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Orohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanoha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean, Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember how she wanted to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but... I'm afraid she might actually go back to the soap land. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with a biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a soap land? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajan. Even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now. You can keep trying, as long as you don't give Nanoha the impression that you're saying any of this out of anger. Which actually is true. You're doing this because you care about her, right? Yeah, of course. Then you gotta make her feel that way. I hope so. I'm terrible when it comes to choosing words and saying them in the right tone. Well, it's not like I know much about being in a real family like yours. But what I did learn from the different sort of family I was in, is words don't matter as much as your feelings. You're right. Thank you, Ichiban. Whatever happens, calling her will show I care. Cool. Here's hoping it goes well. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha too. She's my ex-co-worker after all. Still, thanks. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan.
Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasuga. Let's have a drink. On me today. Huh? On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah, I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... Mm. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi-kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. Good shit. Did you read it already? Nope, I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. Dear Yamada-san, Thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name, Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Hmm. Ooh, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close, Yamada-san. Do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Well, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? And what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit. What's the real me supposed to do now? Well, how about I lend you some money? Hey, wait, well, hey, that'd be great. How much can you lend me? Uh, I can scrape up about 30,000? Uh, okay. Then that leaves 970,000. I uh, <laughs> appreciate the kindness, but it doesn't exactly solve the issue. So, I need one million yen. Shit. Where do I even start? Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. A cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah, some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right, as fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. I mean, he studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person. Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah, if we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. Well, you think I'm celebrating too early? There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah, but come on, when was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now, how about we drown those worries of yours with a drink? Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. 